Zil from your capital one savings, myth or reality. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's question might hit close to home for many of you who use Capital One for your banking needs. We've all been there, needing to send some quick cash to a friend, split a restaurant bill, or pay back a roommate. But what if your funds are tucked away in a Capital One savings account? Can you still utilize the ever-popular Zelle service for these peer-to-peer -peer transactions? The Rise of Zelle Let's rewind a bit. Zelle has exploded in popularity in recent years. It's a fantastic way to send and receive money directly between bank accounts, often touted for its speed and convenience. Gone are the days of waiting for checks to clear or dealing with the hassle of money orders. With Zelle, all you need is a recipient's email address or phone number linked to their bank account, and voila. Funds are transferred electronically in a flash. Capital One and Zelle, the perfect match? This ease of use is why many people naturally assume Zelle is integrated into all their banking options, including savings accounts. But hold on a sec. Capital One, while offering a variety of financial services, has its own way of handling Zelle. Savings versus checking, understanding the account difference. Before diving into the nitty gritty, let's take a quick detour to understand the fundamental difference between savings and checking accounts. Savings accounts are designed for, well, saving. They typically offer higher interest rates on your deposited funds, but may have limitations on withdrawals. Checking accounts, on the other hand, are for everyday transactions, think paying bills, writing checks, and yes, potentially using Zelle. Capital One and the Zelle Zone Now, back to the main event. The good news is, Capital One does offer Zelle functionality. But here's the catch, Zelle is currently integrated with Capital One checking accounts only. That means you can't directly initiate a Zelle transfer from your Capital One savings account. So, what can you do? Don't fret just yet. There are a couple of workarounds to consider. Transfer to checking first, this might be the most straightforward option. You can easily transfer funds from your savings account to your checking account within the Capital One mobile app or online banking platform. Once the money lands in your checking account, you can then utilize Zelle to send it on its way. External transfers, if you don't have a Capital One checking account but use another bank with Zelle integration, you could potentially transfer the funds from your Capital One savings account to your external checking account and then use Zelle from there. However, keep in mind that external transfers might take a bit longer and could incur additional fees depending on your bank's policies. Final Thoughts while you can't directly send money through Zelle from your Capital One savings account, the workarounds we discussed offer some flexibility. Remember, it's always a good idea to check Capital One's website or mobile app for the latest information on Zelle functionality and any potential updates. Python for K-Means Clustering Now, that was the financial side of things. But for those of you who are data enthusiasts, here's a quick bonus tip. If you're interested in performing k-means clustering analysis on a dataset, Python offers some fantastic libraries to make the process a breeze. Some popular choices include Scikit-learn. This powerhouse library provides a wide range of machine learning tools, including k-means clustering functionality. Pandas, often used for data manipulation and analysis, pandas can help you prepare your dataset for clustering. Matplotlib, this library excels in data visualization, allowing you to create clear and informative visualizations of your k-means clustering results. With that said, thanks for watching and until next time, happy banking and happy exploring with Python.